So it's recently come to my attention that a lot of people don't know how to get mods, and it's pretty simple, so I'm going to show you in this video. And so, the first thing we're going to do is talk about some of the requirements. So, first you need a gaming PC. You have to have a VR-ready PC, and it has to be a pretty decent PC. There's a few requirements if you go to the official Oculus store, but first you need a gaming PC. Second, and this one is optional, Oculus link cable. You you could even get a third party, like eleven dollar one. You don't have to get an official Oculus one. Um, these this is optional though, because I found that it will work if you use um, wireless linking, but obviously air linking is not as good because you don't have a uh, data transfer. You also need a Windows 10 operating system. So. If you have a uh, Windows 10 or above, you'll be perfect, but if you have under Windows, uh, unfortunately, the mods will not work for you, and your PC will most likely not be PC, uh, PC VR ready. Okay, so now that's all the requirements, so let's actually install what you need to have installed. So first you need to go to Steam Download. If you, It, it might show Welcome to Steam if you already have it installed. If you don't, click on it, and install steam right here it might say download steam <coughs> if you don't have it installed just click right here and it might say download steam instead of welcome to steam and you should just install steam so installing steam is def it's definitely a trustworthy site a lot of people use it okay so whenever you install go to install steam which don't know why you already have it installed it's really really popular but anyway whenever you install it it's just gonna look like this it's okay to install. Install. It's gonna ask you for permission to access your device and make changes. That's fine. Just click yes. It's not gonna do anything. So once you get Steam, just go ahead and open Steam. Okay. So now that you have Steam, you want to search Steam VR. Once you get Steam VR, you see this like colorful one. This is the official one. If you click on it. You'll see a demo of somebody playing with it in the ocean. And so you want to go ahead and install this. Mine says play now. So you can, there's also a few things to test if your PC is uh, VR ready. If you don't know, a Steam VR performance test. You can install this. And I already know mine is uh, PC VR ready. So if you install this, it'll let you know. But once you get Steam VR installed, you want to install Gorilla Tag. So now that you have Gorilla Tag, just install right there. I already have it installed, so it'll show play now. Now that you have Gorilla Tag and Steam VR, you're all set. Okay, so this is the final thing you're gonna have to install. You're gonna look up Oculus app right here. So you're gonna go to the first link. It looks like this: the official Oculus link meta.com so you'll install it you'll download the software I already have it downloaded it is a very very big download it might take like an hour don't shut off your PC and remember this is a trustworthy site same people that made your quest so you'll be fine to download this so once you get this installed you can open it up Go into devices. You just make sure that it's connected. There might be a add headset, so you can add a headset. Choose which headset. You do a quest. It'll show you this. So if you don't have a link cable and you want to do this wirelessly, again wireless, it uh, might be a better option, just because you if you don't have enough space near your computer, so you can do wireless and connect it. So obviously I already have mine connected, so I'm not gonna do this. So once you have that connected, you're good to install the mod. So now we're actually going to install the mod manager. So go to monkey mod manager. Remember, don't do the Y. If you do the Y, it's incorrect. I don't know. I guess they thought it'd be funny. So it will be monkey mod manager and GitHub. It also might be deadly kitten monkey mod manager. That link also works. 
so you see a plus five releases down here and this link will also be in the description so this so I'll have a link that takes you straight to this site so you want to download the monkey mod manager .exe. so I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it but just if it asks you to make changes or something like that just say yes because it's definitely trustworthy so once you're done with that you can open up Monkey Mod Manager. So you'll see uh, Bepin EX. Just make sure that's checked. And you'll scroll all the way down to Utila. And Utila is pretty much the only thing that you have to click. We're not going to click anything else because we're going to download a mod menu. These are all mods that you can import separately. So you're going to click install slash update. I'm going to go into utilities. I'm going to go into Bepin EX folder. This is where you put your mods. So I already have mine. It's the Flimsy menu. So I'm going to show you how to get the Flimsy menu specifically. Maybe I'll make another video later on how to get uh, custom cosmetics or custom maps. But right now I'm just showing you how to get a mod menu. So just minus these out. And now you're going to go find a mod menu that you like. So I would just go to YouTube. Search up Gorilla Tag Mod Menu. Just something like that. So, this is the Flimsy menu. There's a whole, whole bunch of different mods. You can just look through here, find one you like. But anyway, I'm going to go to the Flimsy Mod Menu. And I'll have a link in the description to it. That's why. That's why okay, so this is the video. So in the description, most will have these. It'll show their Discord server. It'll show the person who made it Discord server. So this is Flimsy's mod menu. This is D Flimsy's Discord. So you want to go to his Discord. So you don't have to open. You don't have to download Discord. Discord's. Uh, you don't. You didn't have to download Discord. You just have to like go into your browser and search up Discord. I'm going to go into Discord because I already have the app installed. If you want to download Discord, don't worry. Discord's safe. Just make an account. So, here it is. Flimsy Mods. So, it would be Flimsy Menu. So, this is version 2.5 DLL. So, make sure it is a DLL file. Otherwise, it will not work on Monkey Mod Manager. So, you want to download this continue to download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. But then you want to go back into your Bepin EX folder. And you will see here, I'll, I'll download it again just to show. So, I'll download this. So then you want to go back into your Bepin EX folder. Go into plugins. And right now, I already have the Flimsy Mod menu, but you would want to you'd want to just drag and click onto here obviously I'm not going to do that I already have it on there and so you should just X out discord you don't need it anymore once you have it on your Bepin EX folder under plugins remember it has to be under plugins then you could just exit this out install slash update now you should if you go back in and go into plugins this is still here so make sure that that's still here every time you open it. So now you can just get rid of Monkey Mod Manager. You can go back into Steam. So now I'm going to show you how to start the game with the mods. Because you've already installed the mods, so you're almost there. Go into your library and search Steam. Just find Steam VR. And so get this ready to launch. You can launch it on your Oculus once it's downloaded. But I just like it to launch it from my computer. That way I know it's actually working. So you want to turn on your device, and you want to you want to you'll see your computer, and you'll see how to connect it. So I'm gonna go into VR, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like to connect to your computer. Okay, so this is part's important. Right now, I'm clicking the buttons. I'm I'm not on PC VR. If you get on the Gorilla Tag, if you just plug in your headset, do the mod, they do not work. You have to load it on Steam VR. So what you have to do is you have to quit because you can't do this while you're running an app. You have to go to Quest Link. I like to use a link just because I have a lot more space.
So this is my PC. Make sure it's your PC. Launch the league. Okay, so Steam VR is right there. I like to launch it from my computer, and I'm just gonna launch it from here. So this part's important. See the menu button right there? You have to click the menu button. If you click the home button, it takes you away from SteamVR. You can't use the home button in this. When you're in SteamVR, you use the menu button and you go to Gorilla Tag. You also might appear in a house, and if you do, it'll just Gorilla Tag will be on a wall and you can just click it. But anyway, I'm going to hop to Gorilla Tag see if it works. Alright, here we are. So, the reason I have, like, this stuff, for example, like, I have these cosmetics and stuff, that's just because... Ooh, that's, that's it. Um, that's just because I have cosmetics installed, so you will not have these. But right now, I'm going to use test the mod menu. Okay, so what you have to press is you have to press on your con controller the thumb button. One of the thumb buttons, it's X. You have to press X. Some mod menus might let you change the button. Or, I know this one lets you change the hand. But I like this mod menu. So, this is a pretty good mod menu. Obviously, go into a modded lobby. Do not use these in public. If you use these in public, you will most likely get banned and you're ruining the game for others. Only use these in a private, just messing around with your friends. Don't. You can also get banned in private. So don't go into privates where people don't want you to. Like if people are telling you to leave in a private, just leave. Like it's not that hard. So as you can see, this mod menu works. It has sticky platforms, sticky RGB platforms. Thank you for watching. I hope you found today's tutorial very helpful. And remember, you might get banned using these, even if you're by yourself. Just remember to look at all the mods that you're about to use and make sure that you're not ruining somebody else's game, especially if it's someone you don't know. Like, it's okay to mess with your friends a little, but you can't go into a random public lobby and start banning people or turning on tag lag. That's just not okay, and you're probably going to get banned, because the game also has an automatic cheat detection system, which means you might get banned in a private with your friends, even if you're just playing with them and they're not reporting you. So that's just a small warning about the mods. You might get banned using them. So that's just a warning. So don't expect to have no risks while doing this. Anyway, thanks for watching, and see ya.